for again the UNCAF Copa Central Americana Games, Belize's national A selection team will be representing the Jewel in the international outing that is taking place in Washington. Today, the team departed from the Philip Goldson International Airport en route to the tournament ready to win and qualify for the 2015 CONCACAF Gold Cup. Well, the preparation is, is good. The guys, the team is complete and everybody is ready for the, for the tournament. I know it was a short time that you had to work with them, um, but you have in the past taken them to outside of Belize, so international competition and, of course, sealing the deal for them so that they advance. Do you think that is what's going to happen to this time around? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Belize people, players have a lot of art and a lot of stamina, a lot of soul. So they never give up in no, in no moment. Don't care how hard it is. We have a lot of difficulties in life, and this is not the first or the last one. So we're going to, we're going to do a job. The national team has only had a few weeks together in Belmapan, preparing for the international games under coach Leroy Sharier lewis who was their former coach back in 2013 when the team qualified for the Gold Cup. Coach Sharier lewis says that team Belize is now a balanced team. Aside from its strong defensive skills, it is now equipped with top-notch offensive players. Remember the last time we never have Danny Jimenez, we never have Jared. We know Char wasn't in the best of shape, so we have more off uh, offensive players now. Um, with Danny and Jaro and Jared, so the team is a very, very good balanced team now. Like Sherry Lewis says, the lineup this time around has changed, and there are at least four rookies on the team. Don't have many experience with the A team, but I had an experience with the under 20 national team. So the coach, the Sherry, told me that. He liked my enthusiasm and my my my, my ganas, right? They call it in Spanish. And he just told me that he need me on the team. And that's when I realized that there's bigger dreams for me out there, no? This is the first time on at a rookie on the team, so but the coach don't talk to me and give me a role, so but I will focus and I ready for help the team wherever they need to help and play anyway the coach put me, because I could play anyway. So I ready for help the team uh, help make history. What would you say is your strength uh, joining in the team uh, and that you're going to bring to the team that will set you apart from the rest? Right, well, my strength are uh, young and I got speed, so I could help the team with speed and I could defend very well, so that would uh, be a big plus for the team. And then, of course, you have the regular faces, including Ian Gunner, Woodrow West and Shane O'Reilly. So how prepared are they to win the tournament and advance Belize once again to the Gold Cup? The good part of all of this is that we are already qualifying the last one. So, and most of our players, is the same core of players that went to Costa Rica, Costa Rica and I'm qualifying in the, for the Gold Cup. So most of us have our heads together and we have one goal right now. Our destination is to reach um, Los Angeles because that is... Um, the only the players, only the team that will be qualified will, will reach there. So that's our, our main objective to, to qualify. Just the experience that we already been to this stage before. And we have like a couple young players just, just to like continue to nurture them to, to know about this stage. So I think it will be pretty easy because most of us are already mature. And we're just going out for the big win, man. I put all up behind me to start with, you know, and, um, every tournament is something new and something um, we look forward to. And um, performance-wise, we need to just um, use that as a background so that it could help we and to focus more and not to make the same errors we made in, in the last Nation Cup. You know? So I feel good going to this tournament, hoping that I could do my best again and, 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 and better. Um, and when I speak better, to try to help the team win and, and not conceive any goals so that, that to give a possibility for winning the game. Uh, the team have been preparing for the past, I think, three, three weeks to a month. Um, and to compare the, the preparation that we have had in the past, it would be, it would be unjust and unfair. But um, the good thing is that the team is a, is a team that have been playing together for the past, I think, almost eight years. So we practically know each other. We just have um, three or four young players that are that are addition to the group. So in, in that aspect, I think that um, thinking about the time, it's, 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 it's water under the bridge. Now we just need to focus on our Wednesday game, the most important game, 
and and um, go out and do as we as we know what to do because um, it's not the first time that we have been in this position. Star striker Dion Macaulay was able to make it to Belize to put in a week of training for the international matchup. He says that he is going determined and will bring consistency in the matches. Well, I feel very confident. I feel like the team has prepared well for this tournament. You know, even though it's a short notice tournament, and I came in late, I feel like the team is prepared and I'm prepared to go out there and to do the best that you know that we know how to do. So I feel that like so far, you know, everybody is mentally, physically, and you know, um, tactically prepared when it comes to like systems and. The way how we are going to play. Now you are a star striker and of course you've been with the Silverbacks. Tell us about what you've learned from them that you are going to apply, you know, in your game your, your game this time. Well, the most thing is consistency. Um, we have, you, have to, you have to have consistency in every game that you play. Make sure that you go out there and put in the hard work, you know, because out there is a different level, you know, so we have to work very hard, you know, from the, from the first minute to the final minute of the game. You know, and just stay focused and try to do, do the job. Dwayne Moody for News 5.